that nigga that my fire ain't getting that bitch back neither. Wow. Free Wi Fi wherever I go. All right, all right. <laughs> Live from the trap house. Wow. <laughs> See Ruby. Thank you, boy, Mr. Phipps. I plead the fit like a minute. <laughs> so, um, this this is our first podcast, and it is entitled New Year, New Me, because that is Mr. Fitz's favorite line. Oh, joy. Lord, I hate that shit. Why you hate that? What's wrong with New Year, New Me, man? Keep on getting better, better in their lives, you know? The first year, it was cool. What year was that? 2007, maybe. It was, it was right after Katrina. So I, oh, okay. so I'll accept that. 2006, New Year, New Me. Well, you ain't got nothing else because the water just took it all. So I, 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 I can live <laughs> with that. Handsome. I can live with that. You know what I'm saying? This nigga, this nigga in the middle of Tremaine, his shit then floods. He talking shit. Go you ahead. Know, so then, you know, 2007 come. Year's a new year, new you again. All right, well, maybe you ain't get some shit in 2006 that you got to get in 2007. So I can live with that. 2012 come and it's still <laughs> New Year, New You. Nigga, what happened to the old you? Like, <laughs> what's wrong like, with you? <laughs> what, what, are you a lizard? Are you cutting off limbs and regenerating? What the fuck Stop is it, going on? Starfish, whatever. <laughs> whatever. <laughs> whatever. Like, who keeps reinventing themselves? What's well, going I mean, on? Well, what's wrong with yourself? If you feel like you're an ancient person and you want to do better, why why people can't do better? So, so okay. What's your concern? They using January 1st to do better? Like, why not do better now? Right. Start today. Right. Like, I mean, I, you and know. I be having a proper mind, you know. Just so everybody know, New Year, New Me coming, 2018. So tell us. Tell they us were about, like fit though. I can't do the first. <laughs> tell us about your New Year, New Me venture. Oh, yeah. So what I got going on? Uh, it's, I have it in a document. So I said, my fat ass going to do some weight. I'm going to start my non-profits. I'm going to find me a job where I can, like, sit at home and I have to go to work. I'm increasing my hustle tenfold. Like, you know, I'm coming up with Buku Hustles. I don't want to go back to work. Well, well I'm going to just say this. Um, 2018, I'm letting y'all know right now, 2018 is the last year for the vision board shit, too. Oh, no! I got boards to do my vision board. I got a, a, got a stack of magazines, thigh high, to cut out all the stuff. I'm doing me a big... Thank you for reminding me. Write that down. Write that down, assistant. Do my vision board. Add that to my new year, new year list. Yeah, vision boards, 2018. <laughs> the bitches expired December 31st, 2018. Some people need visuals to remind them. You know, some people might have to, like, record themselves. Some people, like, Mary, Big Mary Jane, she, she leave posts all over the house. Okay, so, so, <coughs> so not the issue we have with the new year, new me shit. Y'all looking at women on television. <laughs> And now y'all taking them as role models. Always on cycle advice. Being Mary Jane. That's a good Listen, one. listen, it's world. Canceled, I heard listen, you. world. Being Mary Jane is not a role model. She's a bitch. What's wrong with her? She's a bitch. What? Why is she a bitch? See, a successful black woman can't make it to the top without being called a bitch. Here we go. Here we go. Here Winnie. we go. Our first woke moment. Oh man, that's not a woke moment. <laughs> They ain't a woke moment. Successful black women, they can't make it to the top without being a bitch. No That's successful not being black woman. women. It's a human moment. Why? Why should be? What has she done? Let, okay, let me ask you this. I mean, this ain't no no review or no movies and shit. But fuck it, pause. We are gonna do it. Why she a bitch? Because she's not a good person. Why is she not? You ain't seen the show. I watched. She's the shitty time. with her friends. What friends? The girl killed herself. All her friends. She shitty yeah. with all her friends, yeah. She friends. shitty with well, cause other ones kill herself and then quit her. <laughs> <laughs> she shitty with her men, <laughs> even though they be belonging to other people. Niggas ain't shit though. So okay, she shitty with her family. <laughs> she shitty with her family. No, she not. She take care of them. And she let them know about it every fucking day. That's shitty. You don't do something for people and then gotta keep telling them. They I don't did this do for that you. every day. It don't every be every other day. day. It just look like it be every TV Tuesday program. when the shit the come program, on at 9 p.m. I was say, the program only an hour long, so it seems like every day, but there's a big old time lapse. You don't be understanding that it's production. So anyway, like I said, that that lady don't know bitch. That lady, fuck, she living her life for herself. If people want so much from other people, and just because somebody's tough what they're supposed to do for you, no. And bitch, I did for you. Don't forget them. Remind y'all. So, so let's backtrack though. You say, why would never a black woman go to the top? She always got to be a bitch, right? Is Amarosa a bitch? No, Amarosa's a cool. <laughs> <laughs> She's not a bitch. I will say though, she used to be a bitch. 
because she wasn't on top. When she lost that apprentice gig and she fucked over that black dude, she was a bitch. I remember that episode. You remember, y'all remember the episode? Mm-hmm. Yeah, she fucked over that black dude. She didn't support him. She should have supported him just for Ujama. Today's the, uh, I mean, <sighs> I like Kwanzaa. And Woke moment number two. That's not number two. And being, you know what? This dude always want to tell somebody that. You one of the people that people talk about when they fucking post them memes that be like, I'm cutting everybody out of my life and everybody who don't who don't support me. You one of them motherfucking people. You always find the the, 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 the negativity in the situation. Well, let me tell you something. Please cut me out your life if you're going to post New Year, New Me I'm and vision me. boards. Please cut me out. You Believe like a, me. You like a, a bra from Dollar General. No support. <laughs> That's good. I'm okay <laughs> with that. I'm okay with that because I'm sure Kwanzaa got some principle for black people doing it for themselves. So whatever principle that is, that's the one I like. Do it for yourself. Self-determination. That's Kooja Chakalia. Kooja Chakalia. That's for all the three fivers who had the Morris Jackson. I went to I went to 35 and I still don't know this song. How you play don't it on FM 98? Nigga, you know, ooh. So this nigga won't be mainstream. He won't shit that some white company done produce and put out so you can listen to. That's what he wants. Let's talk about that now. <laughs> <laughs> Let's talk about that. Because... I like how all these wokes was dying to still use Dove. Talking about, yeah, no, nothing else work with my pussy. Yeah. That's yeah. what they were saying. That oh, unscented no. Dove, the undyed, the doctor recommended shit. Yeah. Yeah. Fuck it. First See? of all, first of all, people took that fucking commercial, that, that <laughs> snippet of that commercial, and misinterpreted it. Okay? So Dove was I'll not. I'll agree. I'll agree with Dove that. Dove was not trying to be offensive. It, it was misinterpreted, but we do that a lot. We jump to conclusions. Yes. Yeah, um, cool. But still, we talking about. Supporting white businesses and shit. Dumb is white people shit. Who you know make black soul? Black people soul. Black people make... They have it all through, uh... Through, uh... That glistening soul? Oh, you shit. know what? They do... The oh, weekends. boy. The black dude with the dress and the bald head. Yeah. He's selling stuff that they're selling Whole Foods on Broad. However, I don't want no glistening soul. I'm just saying, you probably got to smell like your grandma closet. That, that's what I don't want. I mean, that's what I don't want. You know, but, but, white but, man, the white man has cornered the market on soul. God damn it. I have to accept it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God, I love the wokes. Oh, I love I'm it. not a woke. You're not a woke. You're not a woke. You know, I don't you, give you like, myself. No, you, 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 I will say this. You you do get enough sleep. Keep it that real. You get enough sleep. Some of these motherfuckers need to sleep, but at least you get enough sleep. But back to, back to New Year's. All right, New Year's New Year. So, um. So, I got New Year's resolutions. So I'm not gonna post when you knew me, you know what I'm saying? Because I also like like the memes they put on there that say, "Don't let them know your next move." <laughs> <laughs> you gotta move in secret sometimes, and I'm okay with that. You know I'm okay saying? with that. So I not, support that. So I'm not gonna. I'm supporting you on that, friend. But I do have resolutions, Travis, and I'm waiting for January first. Fuck, I might wait till the fifth though, because the first, you know, I might be hungover. I'm like, fuck. So the first not a good day for me. But you know, I do have resolutions, and the thing is, sometimes people just need a a, a mark in time and say. Here's when I'm going to start. And I'm a procrastinator, so I got to set some kind of time goals for myself. Well, I will say this. I support anybody who have resolutions on bettering themselves in the new year. My thing is, is that you don't have to post about it, and you don't have to wait. If you feel like you want to lose weight, don't buy that 20-ounce Coke today. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Get a water instead. Mm-hmm. If you feel like you need to leave a dead-end job, then start polishing up your resume. You don't have to leave it today. But at least start the I steps. agree. I agree. But I think that some people, like, when they go into the new year, they start planning their shit out in advance. And those are the steps they take. So when they post in their new year, new me, that's the day they're going to start all the stuff that they planned out. Like polishing that resume. Like, you know, they've already started coming up with their little meal plan and stuff. You know, I just, I, you know, I like people. I ain't going to lie. If you post new year, new me every year, I do have a problem with you. Okay. I'm not going to lie. Okay. But I also support people with their new year's resolutions and bettering themselves. And I think the new year is a good, you know, a good starting point. Gym memberships skyrocket. Now let me let me say this: <laughs> as someone who goes to the gym, please. Which gym you go? I ain't about to. You bitches don't give me no free membership. <laughs> so give me no free plug. Go ahead, go ahead. But I go. That's all I, you know. And I love y'all. Y'all know who y'all are. I love y'all at the gym, but. Give me a month free, then I'll let y'all let them know we all are. <laughs> Sponsored by. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. But in the meantime, um, you know, it really upsets me when I go to the gym regularly 
Oh, you one of them motherfuckers. And he gonna post it on Facebook. You know what I hate? Captain's low, January 2nd. I hate that I've been in this motherfucker all year long, busting my ass, and here all these fat motherfuckers come and taking up all the treadmills and all the towels and shit. Where was your fat ass over Christmas? Well, I don't want I the treadmill. I don't need the treadmill because the treadmill is for fat people. <laughs> <laughs> but I don't need you. Wear a row machine. I don't need, I don't want to worry about the row machine. <laughs> I don't need you standing by so the squat the rack. And then you're in that bitch taking pictures or you're going live New from, the, me. from the start right. They fucking post their New Year New Me shits. Do something <laughs> first. Do something first. All you all you is is glistening. That's all they you is. They're going to the water, but they New Year New Me, y'all getting it in. <gasps> yeah. yeah. Don't hate when y'all see me in summer body ready. Don't hate. But y'all not getting summer body ready. Y'all getting Zulu ball ready. Because come oh. February 14th, you fat bitches going to fall right on off. That's Valentine's Day. Why are we fall on Valentine's Day? Because that's the day after Mardi Gras. Okay. This so, year. so nothing to do with. No, no. Okay. No. Well, you know what though. You know and what let, let me let me let me let me let me first apologize for calling people fat bitches because no, I don't want to offend oh, you fat, say bitches. fat bitches. I say fat bitches, but I don't want to. Oh. No offense, fat bitches. Well, hold on. When you say when you say fat bitches, you mean fat chicks or just fat people? Fat people in okay, general. Okay, we call Matthew fat bitch all the time. <laughs> I just want to make sure that. Your name dropping, but we're not going to give him a plug either because he might start a business. And until he advertises, we don't want nobody to know who he is. Anyway, um, and we don't call him fat. Hey, hey, hey. We hey. don't call him fat bitch. We call him old oh, eat him up ass. Oh, eat him up ass. <laughs> yeah. My bad. Shout out to Janelle for that one. Um, you use a real name again. It's Electric Lady. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, that's our company. We're not giving up for the advertising either. Uh, that's how it's our Instagram. Still, in. she do electric, so we don't want nothing to buy no until she started oh, dropping man. stuff. Oh, man. This was the secret. Oh, yeah, yeah. Fuck it. No. <laughs> First, I was like, man, support my girl. But you right now, fuck that. We need sponsorships. She got at least buy And Dove. Dove ain't sponsoring this bitch neither. Fuck Dove. <laughs> Black people, stop using Dove. Find something else for your coochie. <sighs> you know, you're really only supposed to wash with water. You're not supposed to wash with soap. But it's really for your skin. It's not for your vagina. And don't listen to me about Dove because I don't have a coochie. So don't let me tell you not to what put that on your coochie. Um, whatever is there. I you buy your own, nigga? I do, but I buy shit like from the uh, Dollar Tree. Motherfucker. <laughs> you buy a cashmere bouquet? <laughs> no, not nigga. that. Nigga. <laughs> not that. But they got one that's like... It's like oatmeal and lavender for sensitive skin. And yeah, I feel like... Not real. The Dollar Tree cannot have real oatmeal soap. It's not cost effective. There's no way. It should just oatmeal colored. That's, you don't see the color written there. Oatmeal colored. I, I, I'm okay with that. Damn, nigga. I buy you Dollar Tree. You probably all itchy and shit. Your skin be dry? I'm black. Of course my skin be dry. You didn't see. You use a better soap. Don't use Dove because you're against it. But use a better see, soap. See, but like... but um. What about African black soap? <laughs> Y'all know it's not supposed to be black, right? I ain't using African black nothing. Damn, um, African booty scratches, nothing? <laughs> nothing, nothing. <laughs> not even the Zulu back scratches, because them bitches, it's dumb, nice. dumb, them bitches, them bitches fire. And, them, and them umbrellas fire, too. Yeah, um, I'm going to throw you one. Yeah. Um, no, but I um I use whatever's available, which is probably why I do be itching sometimes. I got a little track marks so I didn't scratch. I look like a crackhead. Uh, niggas at the gym. Do not use the equipment to have the No, fence. I wipe I wipe down. I'm one of I'm one of the people that wipe down. I never wipe down at the gym. See, that's why these new year new me people don't need to be no, in the gym. No, no. I go to the gym in the summertime, first of all. That's when I go because that's when my gym have a discount. Cause you know. So ain't no new year new me, but I don't be sweating like that. What the fuck? Girl, you was a whole lot. You be sweating sitting there sometimes. I be sweating off alcohol, nigga. It be that whiskey. It be that brown, that yak. That hen and yak. You be having me. But no, 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 no. When I'm at the gym, the air condition, but I don't be... No. Sorry. Um, Whatever gym T. Ruby go to, <laughs> make sure she wipe that shit down. She probably go somewhere in the east, so it don't matter because don't nobody wipe that shit down. Yo, I'll go there. I'll go there. It's got Mercer and everything else in the east. <laughs> you talking about a problem. That gym on product, I don't go there. <laughs> it don't matter. I mean, if you if you work out in the East, just run up and down the levels. They clean out them gyms. <laughs> That's all I'm going to say to that. <laughs> we have a walking trail in my subdivision. I use that, you know. Nah, but, um, but no, I, um, I, you know what? Maybe I ought to um, look into using soap and all that kind of stuff. Oh, y'all, yeah, you know, I'm going to put that in my New Year, New Me. That, new Year, New Me, New Skin, ass get you nigga. Some, get, get me some, some soap. For my black skin. Dove. Dove. I'm going to have to try Dove. You can try all of Olay too, yeah. Okay. I don't want nothing that's going to leave me feeling greasy, though. No, 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 no. They don't. Okay. 
the unscented, uncolored, they don't. So yeah, let's move on for this because they get a little too much airtime. Yeah, all this, right? all this, yeah, yeah, yeah dropping all these. So okay, let's let's go ahead and, and break this segment. We'll, we'll end it with this. What are your new year resolution besides the new soap? Um, you know what? You don't feel like you need to get better as a person. You don't feel like you I like me. I like shit. me, so I. But I, I can I, tell you from my position, you ain't shit. You would do better. And, and here's the thing, though, right? I completely own not being shit. <laughs> and I, I don't want to change anything that's okay. unique about me. Nigga, that ain't um, unique. They got plenty of Asian niggas. Yeah, on there. That but, ain't unique, nigga. But um, I can name fifty right now. You, you probably Asian could. Asian niggas. That ain't you probably unique. could. But, How about um, being unique as being the nigga who's the shit? I am the shit. You just think I'm. You're not right. The shit, no, you so, know what? Yeah, you know yeah. what? You know what? I do give you a props. You a smart brother. You all right? I, I, I will say this, and I ain't gonna lie. I'm gonna say this, and I'm probably lying. I'm probably not gonna do it, but I'm gonna say it anyway because I've said it before, and I guess I'm a new year, new me, nigga. Nah, but um, I'm gonna try to think a little more before I speak. What? Probably not. Really nah. gonna happen. But Listen, I'm, gonna try. I'm, I'm the most unfiltered. I'm gonna tell you what. Y'all remember on Dave Chappelle? They had that skit when keeping it real goes wrong. Yeah. That's my life. Like I will, I will get fired. I, I will, I will be ungirlfriended. <laughs> keeping it real. Keeping it real is my greatest strength and my weakness. So like, let's talk about that because I kind of feel the same way. Like I feel like people tell me things like, well, we like that you tell the truth. Oh, no, it's like this. Since I was a little girl with mom and dad, it's not what you say. It's, it's how, how you say, say it. it. Well, you know, I'm sorry that I'm not about to be out here trying to figure out how to please you, motherfucker. See, I done went back to being not shit. She See, just shit. That's <laughs> all right. That's all right, sis. <laughs> just that fast. I done went back to not I being shit. I love your shit ass. But, um, but, you know, I, you know. I just I say I say what I gotta say, and all I'm gonna say is tell me when I lie. If I lie, I'm good with that. That's my favorite lie. I'm lying. Right, I'm right. Lying. And I will say this: I am very good at taking fuck yous. I'm fuck you, boy. I right. fuck you, boy, all day long. All day long, and I'm okay with that. Don't I be like, you're right. Fuck you, boy. Right, I'm fucked, and I move on. Like yeah. it don't it don't yeah. hurt hurt my. So feelings you know what? So maybe maybe here's the thing. Maybe it's not that that you ain't shit. People are just too sensitive. Cause you're not sensitive, nigga. So you fuck you. You ain't. Right, right. But you know what? I'm sensitive and I ain't shit. So it's a bad combination. <laughs> but you know what, though? I have not seen you get upset when people tell you things. Now, maybe you keep it inside and no, go home no, and be sensitive Oh, no, 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 Yeah. No, because I'm, 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 I'm a in a moment first, but I'm going to react. I'm, I'm yeah. very reactionary. Yeah. So, no, but nobody ain't really told me no, nothing that bad, though, I guess. Like, maybe we haven't gotten to that. Well, maybe you're not fully ain't shit. Maybe you like not. Maybe, you know what? We're not like Donald Trump or you know what I'm you, saying? You, you, you're right. You like on the other end of the spectrum. You are like Donald Trump. <laughs> nah, wait, <laughs> you don't lie. Wait, wait, wait. wait. Not, not, not. You, you know what? You don't lie. You don't lie. I guess I am reprehensible. I don't know. <laughs> you, you, you a basket deplorable. You're a basket deplorable. On, on the opposite end of the spectrum. Yeah. No, nah, I'm joking. Yeah. You're not. You're not. You're not. Um, you're right. We're not like Donald Trump. But I mean, you know, I believe in honesty. I just feel like, you know what it is? Y'all know I'm developing this adult ADD with this new lifestyle I got. And I forget shit. Y'all know I remember what I wore the first day it rained in kindergarten, like Lawrence D. Crock Elementary School. I can tell you what I had on, but I can't tell you what I ate yesterday because I really stop and think hard about it. Right, my memory is, is is shoot is shit getting shot. So my thing is, if I lie and I gotta remember that shit, it's, it's up in smoke. See, I always I always it's felt like I always felt like lying takes too much energy. Oh, it does. Like you know, like why lie when the truth is do? You know, right? It, yeah, it, yeah. It just it takes way too much energy trying to remember lies. But you know, people can't handle the truth though. That's and that's like the dilemma, right? Is that people can't, and I, you know what though? I'm gonna go back to it. I can handle the truth, but you ain't gonna talk to me like that shit. So, so let that me ask one you how you say it. Let, let me ask you this: this is this like a real like deep segment we about to have here? Um, you say that <coughs> um, fuck, I know I have a daughter. See, I it's contagious. It and it's cold. It you got it. I'm got so it. sorry. God damn. <laughs> um, no, we were talking about you know how people can't handle the truth and all that. Mm-hmm. Should it be a person's responsibility to shield someone else's feelings? I mean, I think there is a line that you shouldn't cross. Like, you shouldn't, you should not be antagonistic when you're giving someone the truth purposefully. I think if it's like an in the moment response, like you didn't mean anything by it, but when you intentionally, like, when you have had a minute to think about it and you say, I'm about to give this nigga wrong, and you know it's gonna be nasty, like the way you say it, I think it is a problem. Because everybody deserves a little kindness. And you know how people say you never know what somebody going to push them over the edge. You know, I do. I'm a very compassionate person. It's one thing. People say I'm a bitch. I don't see it. 
but I'm real compassionate. And I do care about how I impact others. I don't care what people think about me, but I do care how people will remember me. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, and you know, I think being in a field that I'm in, like, I impact a lot of lives. And people, parents, kids come to me and say, Ruby, you know, you know, one time you did this. And I never forget, and I was like, I don't even remember doing it. You know what I'm saying? Like, I think Maya Angelou said it. Y'all remember people say it somebody to make you feel. So I do think it's an important quality to have. Now, if it's off the cuff, if we're in a moment, nah, you get it wrong. But I think if you have a minute to digest and say what you're going to say, I think you should not buffer for the sake of buffering, but you have some decor. I mean, you know. Gotcha, gotcha. Yeah, because, you know, I, I, I will say this. Um, I do care enough about humans in general to not want to intentionally hurt your feelings. You know what I'm saying? Like, right. if I say something that hurts your feelings, you can say to me, damn, that hurt, and I'm going to apologize. Yeah. Even when I say things, I'm not saying it to hurt you. Like, yeah, I'm not, you know, and so that I'm goes, not being malicious yeah. about shit. Yeah, so let me tell you this. So, there's this idea of, like, intent versus impact. Mm-hmm. And um, I can remember I had a boyfriend one time, and um, I forgot what I did to him. He was fucking sensitive. But anyway, like, and I said, I'm sorry, nigga, I'm sorry, it's over. He said, this was his favorite line. I hope he listened to this podcast. Support his sister. Bitch, supported you all the fucking years. You ran out like what the fuck. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> Where were you at? Uh, I'm sorry. That was from <laughs> that, that living single of Murphy. Anyway, 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 back, back. And he would always say this bullshit. She line. sure remembers TV show lines, but she can't remember what she ate. No, uh-huh. no. Today I had a, uh, a panini from All right. Let's, let's, let's stay okay, on track. Okay, so. Stay on track. Focus, focus. <laughs> Yo, Bob so, McKinnon kicking yesterday. Oh, uh, I know I need the money. But anyway, but like he will always say, if you roll over my foot, and you didn't mean to roll over my foot, my foot's still broken. And I'll be like, nigga, so, did not mean to do that. But the impact outweighs the intent. You know what I'm saying? And I yeah. feel like that's only depending on the severity of the impact, right? So, so you know, I then that also brings into the way people perceive things, right? Like, like, mm-hmm. perception is everything. Yep, basically um, perception is reality, right? Yeah, it is, for that person. You know what I'm saying? It don't have to be my reality, but mm-hmm. if you perceive it as real, then, then that's re- that's your reality. Um, see, I'm of the school of thought where, because we're humans, and based on Darwinism, survival of the fittest kicks in, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. I think we're all Little about... punk ass, can't handle it. I, but I think we're all about self-preservation, meaning that I am not going to do something that makes me unhappy at the sake of making someone else happy. Oh, people do that all the time. I, people do. I'm not built that way. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I am not going to fun. I'm not going to I'm not gonna sacrifice my happiness for your happiness if it really came down to. It. You know what I'm saying? Now yeah. now saying like, oh, you know, you want McDonald's, uh, you want Taco Bell a day, and I'm like, well, I don't really like Taco Bell, but you choose Taco Bell, I can say, okay, yeah, I'll find something at Taco Bell. But if it's like um, I want to, fuck, I don't know, anything that's really serious, like, you know, I want to go to New York, but I want to go to Los Angeles, then we're going on two separate trips. <laughs> okay, but think about this. Think about when you're in a relationship, though, right? Like, people do not always agree, right? Fuck a meal. I'm talking about, like, life choices, right? Something you don't want to do. You would make a sacrifice. Well, I think you know? we pick our battles, right? So I think that, um... And we might want to save this for next month, but yeah. I think that um, I do, I just, time yeah, with that <laughs> I do think um, I do think we pick our battles, right? And while I, uh, I guess there's gray area to the I won't sacrifice my happiness for your happiness comment that I made, meaning that it depends on how serious the issue is for me. You okay. know what I'm saying? Right. If it's a, if it's an issue that I have a strict policy on, I have a strict stance on, I'm not going to bend my happiness or what I choose in that instance to make you happy is what I'm saying. I was about to say something real stupid, but I'm not. All right. Oh, we got that. Yeah. So, so new year, new you, you, um, you're not going to be much of an asshole, but you're going to still do you. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm going to really I. try. So my, my new me. And I'm me, finding soap that works okay. for my skin. And my new me for me is like, I have these little goals set, you know, starting a couple of hustles, you know, trying to, you know, do some things. Uh, I have, I have one personal goal, like, to lose some weight, and, um, that'd be my fucking goal every day, though, so, you know, that shit may not come into fruition, but fuck it, I'll try again on January 5th. So, so, you know what, Let, let's, let's also talk about, if you have set a resolution, and you have set a new year, new me thing, let's make them realistic, right, because I think last year, my resolution was to get a six-pack. 
What's this bag of milk? I don't know who the fuck she found to put money in my bag that I wanted a six pack. What you, you want? A beetle? Bud? What? I wanted like six abdominal muscles <laughs> to show through, oh, right? Oh, to show. Okay, okay. Yeah. <laughs> but I did not take into account how much body fat, what my body fat percentage had to be for that to happen. I didn't take into account my age. I didn't take into account my lifestyle. Um, we eat out a lot. Now, now, now lifestyle-wise, the, the funny part is, is that, like, you know, we buck ourselves up to be like, well, I ate clean six days, so I deserve I'm going to go to, not not even I'm, I deserve a treat. I'm going to fucking go to the bar and have a setup. You know what I'm saying? Ooh, yeah. Like, the, the, the fact is, is that if you want that six pack, you can't even have a fucking setup. You know, like, you got to be. Can't. No, bro. You can't drink alcohol, try to um, have, you, a, have you, muscle, muscle tone. Not 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 if it ain't already there. You know what I'm saying? Not if you try. Everybody get everybody got that down muscle. Everybody got. I got them. You do, you do. But then your body fat percentage have to be like in that ten percent range. Oh yeah. In order, <laughs> oh lord. You know what I'm saying? Like that's fucking hard to do, especially once you get up in age. And you know, I just realized like last year. Jacqueline Lane, the juice man, was all the cheese. Cause the motherfucker was fit like that <laughs> when he was twenty. He always looked like. Pack by now. I think I, I think you could have. Uh, I, well, I could have had I taken into account all the other shit and made the appropriate life choices, is what I'm saying. What I'm saying is that sometimes we say things and we don't realistically set ourselves up to do it. Like, you can't be like, I want to lose 100 pounds if you don't really understand what it takes to lose 800 pounds. Oh, well, if you don't understand, you're a dumb fuck for you just spitting shit out like that. But, 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 but people do that. Like, I don't, I don't think you realize how serious you have to be, not just with working I out. I don't realize, nigga, that's why I'm making kind of resolution. Because <laughs> 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 I, I know how serious it is. So, so right. see, that's the thing. You have realistic. But I can lose 50 pounds in three months. Yeah, yeah. That shit easy. I mean, I can lose 20 pounds in, like, three weeks. I, and I believe that. Can you... Sustain that fifty pound weight loss for a whole year? Probably so. Have you ever done it? Yeah, I did sixty one and I held that off for years. Okay. Okay. But it finally came back on. But it's like it really is eight to ten years later. But I will say that yes, it's easy for me to lose weight because I have so much to lose. I don't know what my plateau point is. Um you know, but yeah. So right now I'm at I'm doing I, I have like fifty pounds by March. That that's your that's your goal? Yeah, I just gotta get my mind right. That's why I'm saying January fifth or something. January fifth. Hey, that's Ooh, what I mean. Oh, you know, it's gonna be hard. That, that's a good jump off point, but Dickum's gonna gonna be. But you know, now you have to put into place the things that you need to do to get it. I will recommend that you stay out of any gym that's in the east. <laughs> why? That's why I want the bike off. <laughs> <laughs> but you might end up with Mercer, and then that's gonna right, knock you right, off right, your plan because right, right. you can't walk around this bitch with staph infections and be trying to work out. It just don't work. <laughs> Um, well, apparently somebody doing it. <laughs> that Mercy is hanging out. Well, you know they got a little bit of everything in the East, but you know they kill them in the East before the Mercy even attacks. Oh, no. Uh, okay, you know what? That is actually two weeks from now, the new city administration. Great segue for podcast number yeah, two. Yeah, we yeah. Gonna, we new, gonna, new year, new city. Who this? That's, yeah, that's we gonna, the second We're going to talk about the East and all that. We're going to talk about all that later, too, because that, yeah, that's a whole other day. But, um, yeah, you know, just if you have a New Year's resolution... Go for it. You don't have to let Instagram know. You don't have to let Twitter know. You don't have to let Facebook know. Just do it. And while you're doing it, you don't even have to give us the hourly updates. You don't have to give us Oh, the, the pictures. The yeah. bill prep pictures. Yeah, you know, the like, I don't need pictures, to see your... sweaty gym shots. I don't need to see your, you know, your, your five pineapple chunks and ten grapes. I don't need to see Yay. that. You know, like... Just yeah. do you. Let us see. Let us see the end results. I don't want to go on a journey. I want to see the end results. So I you can know, be like, damn, ma, you looking good. Yeah, yeah. Like, I'm going to come out like, pow, pow. You right, know, you right, know this, huh? Right. You know, I know. Right. You ain't right. seen it coming. That, that's you what I'm talking about. Don't let, them know you, coming through. don't let them know your next move. Don't let them know your <laughs> next move. Because you know what? You got haters out here. They're going to steal your move. <laughs> and you know what I recommend for the new year? Cut them haters off with the same scissors they gave to them. <laughs> <laughs> right. So, I will say this. Um, damn, damn, damn. 
Man, I need some ginkgo galore. Galore, what you call that shit? <laughs> ginkgo bilo. What that herb is? Yeah, ginkgo galore, but that's what they sell in the East. You got to avoid that shit. <laughs> that's, from, that's from the Chinese mall. That's, that's, that's going to give you internal person. <laughs> <laughs> you got to watch out on that ginkgo galore. Fuck, I forgot what I wanted to say. Or whatever the fuck it is. Something you had said and triggered a thought. But anyway, you know what? We're wrapping this up. Uh, this was nice. It was fun. Yeah, it was. New year, new me. New um, year, new me. See y'all next year. No. <laughs> oh, oh, that's a funny thing. When people say that shit, though, right? Like, I know I'm going to see you next week, and next week is New Year, so niggas be like, see you next year. Yeah, that's, like that's that what <laughs> You just said it, and I'm still sitting here with, like, the <laughs> joke killer in me and came out like, yeah, I don't get that. Calm them nostrils down, nigga. Calm <laughs> yeah, them like, nostrils down. Okay, wham, wham, wham. But anyway, right, yeah. So, so we'll see y'all. Right. No, I'm, I won't do that, but okay. Um, thanks well, for you don't want to sacrifice your happiness? <laughs> no, 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 no. I'm not gifting anything <laughs> over here, okay? Wait, wait, wait. No, wait. I have no mouth gifts for anybody. Oh, no. Um, no. Okay, the private <laughs> Yeah. Run that <laughs> whole thing <laughs> Come on now. I know, but that's all right. They can still laugh. Fuck, if they don't want to laugh, then turn us off. It's over anyway at this point. Yeah, all right. No, don't really turn us off. We love you. No, turn, you can turn it off when it ends, but then turn it back on yeah. in a couple of weeks. Yeah. In like two weeks, we'll come back to you. All right. Talking about this great city in New Orleans yeah. and all that it encompasses. And how yeah, I can't afford to fix the trap house, good justification, the thin in my pocket. Say, we'll save it. We'll save yeah, we're going to save it. We'll yeah, save it. Yeah, yeah. All right. All right, y'all. We um, out.